Hey guys, I'm back. This boy Nitro High Fire here. And I shot this video earlier and it was very long winded. So I'm going to try to make this shorter. Me and Leilani, just Hi. my wifey, we're going to a coffee shop. But in that time frame, I want to see if I can explain why I started my own manga. So my own manga slash anime project is called Chief Low Journey for the True Master. It is a story about a mixed martial artist who gets into learning traditional martial arts from these martial arts masters uh, to help find who is known as the true master in order to fight against an alien invasion that is coming towards the earth. So the reason I want to start this is because that I wanted something more epic, more crazy, more over the top of anime. And... Um, I want to see if I can create that myself. Usually in the writing process, there's peaks and valleys, ups and downs of a story. And I wanted to kind of just continually escalating my story to be more and more crazy as time goes on. And so that's kind of like the whole thing. Now, during this time, I spent about five years and $5,000 to get my project as far as I can before running out of money and inevitably having artists quit on me repeatedly. <laughs> So this is why I decided to go the route I'm going now, which is I'm going to create what I like to call a pitch book. A pitch book will be a, my story outline from start to finish, the entire thing, all my character designs, all my concepts, literally everything anybody would need to take and create the entire project from scratch. So, and then I'm going to take that and try to present it to companies. I don't know how to present any of this to companies, so I'm just flying by to see my pants, which is kind of how I do everything, and has made me get this far where I am right now. So, <laughs> um, along the way, I like to also meet other artists who are also wanting to do the thing, and right now I met a guy named Devin um, at Nerd Torch Cafe. That's the gaming cafe we started. And... Um, Basically, what that does is I'm giving him the opportunity to work with me on a side project. I have a side project that I did the script for, the outline for, the concept art, and the storyboards. Pretty much everything was already done before he came in. The only thing that I needed was for the artwork to be finalized until the final pages. So, I've allowed Devin to come in as a collaborator on this project to finish the pages on this. And then what happens with that is he actually gets to take the finished product on the front of the book. It will have story by Nigel, art by Devin, and then he can print copies of this and sell it at conventions. And so, now the train is coming, this is Devin. <laughs> Nah, we already rolling. <laughs> wait, we're rolling? Yeah, camera already on. See, wait, are you ha -ha. Gonna edit, wait, are you gonna post this or are you gonna ed I'm edit this out? I'm posting everything. Why are you uh -huh. posting everything? Hold up, wait. That's content, buddy. Content? So, no! So, so this is Devin. Say hi, Devin. Hey. <laughs> so apparently Devin's camera shy. Anywho, we are working on a manga together. See, look, I don't know if this... Haha, -ha, yes. Devin is one of the many people in the long line of people who have attempted to create a manga. And we're going to see if Devin has what it takes to actually finish one. It's crazy. But we're working on a one shot, so it's not that long. So, Devin, we want to know what, what made you want to be a manga artist? Oh, my God. God, I love Chainsaw Man. I love freaking um. I love yeah. I love Chainsaw Man. I love on Tech on Titan. Oof, one of the best anime. Kagiguri's one of my favorites. Um, what else? You like action anime? Basically, yeah. Sound oh, yeah. like you like a lot of action anime. Mhm. Mm yeah, I just love the details and gore and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Do people like Parasite? Oh, I watched that. Oh man, what well, other people like? Well, what you like? Okay, uh, that's something I got recorded as a slime. Uh, oh, yeah, Black Clover, mm, Naruto, One Piece. You like a lot, of, a lot of the, like the classics. Yeah, a lot of the, the yeah, shonen. There's a, there's a lot. Uh, I 
think uh, my most favorite one, my very first anime, Dragon Ball, hands down. Yeah, I'm a Dragon Ball fan myself. So I basically got into uh, anime and manga and things like that when I was little. I'm 31 right now. Um, I wanted to create my own because I always had so I always had like crazy ideas and things like that. So I just kind of wanted to make my own thing, and it's like no matter where I looked, and truth be told, I didn't look too deeply, but I could never find anything that was like once you get like excited about an anime or excited about a manga, like I'm looking for like the next thing that's the more exciting and more exciting. And it's like eventually I hit like a level where it was like, all right, everything is kind of here. And I was like, there was nothing that's taking things like to the next level of excitement, of craziness, of wild stuff that was happening. So I was like, well, might as well do it myself. So that's where I was talking about like how I started my journey of doing the, my life's work, which is my manga Chief flow journey for a true master. Along the way of working on projects and things like that, um, I find other people like Devin, <laughs> and I kind of help them be like, "Hey, I did the thing that you're trying to do because I have published a book before." And Devin told me he wanted to be a manga artist, so I was like, "Hey, you can be, you can do a book." Now, when we first got to working on things, Devin didn't really know like the story writing process and stuff like that, and I was like, "That's cool. Guess what? I write." I got a whole bunch of stories, which is collab on something. So what we're doing now is we're working on a project called The Fox Samurai. And the deal we have on it is I've already done the story. I've done the script. I've done the storyboard. I've done pretty much everything all the way up until the final part of the book. And the only thing that's left to do is, like, basically draw it out. And so um, after it is all completed and finished, Devin here gets to print them and sell them as a collaborative IP with me. And so basically the book would be like story by Nigel Manjuri, art by whatever your pen name is going to be. Like, But the thing was, like, what did I get, uh, get out of it? You get your own story. Yeah, but what else to it? Well, pretty much you you basically own it. So basically what that means is by having ownership, um, you'll get to go to conventions and things like that, sell it, make money, and then you move on to like the next project, okay. and so on and so forth. I mean, get followers, fame. I guess fame, fortune. <laughs> I can't really, I can't really promise you like money, like a lot of fame. It's kind of like the money. I just want to know what else I get from it. I mean, it's kind of just leads you into like doing it. I guess what everybody's dream is to do it. Do you want to do this full time? Full time. Yeah, like if you're is is that no, your man, goal? Anything to to not work where I'm from. <laughs> where are you working right now? Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> that's not shady. Uh, that's not shady. Come on, you can tell people. You, know, you can tell all the three people that's gonna you see know, us. It's a fast food place. Okay, you also you work at a fast food place. Well, yeah, a lot of people work at fast food. It's not it's nothing to be. Okay, so do you think that you could have done this on your own? You think I can? Uh, I can done this on my own? Yeah. Could, could, do you think you could have just eventually? I mean, eventually everybody could. Like with. Um, nah, not with the storyboard. Nah, I don't think I can do this. Um, do this on my own. Now you eventually gonna have to learn how to do a storyboard. <laughs> 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 Like, yeah, I can't hold your hand the whole time. <laughs> like, I'll teach you how to do it, but eventually you're going to have to learn how to do it on your own. Yeah. Story, <laughs> making stories ain't rid of my thing. It's not rid of my field, but as a matter world. of fact, I was thinking about dressing up as the samurai on Fox while yeah. selling it. No, oh, that'd be dope. Yes. So it's pretty much like... And then you can even make merchandise and stuff, so you can actually sell. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make more I would, money. I would love to make t-shirts out of it. Yeah. And you can do pretty much whatever you want. It'd be, it'd be your project to do with as you please. But how do you, how do you sell it for, uh, like, mugs? I will teach you how to do mugs. That'll be another thing we do. We, we'll do a merch day. But we'll just make oh, merchandise. Yes. It sounds like you're just trying to feel it out and just kind of be like, all right, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. And so that's really good. And it's really good that you, you dive in as hard as you did, like, yeah. with this. Because it was like, yeah, because we, 
we tired of finding people we want to collab with, and then yeah. they just fall off. Just don't. How many people bail on you? All of them. Like, <laughs> how many? Enough for me oh. not to do collabs ever again. I won't say fail. It's just they underperform or they either just don't. Okay, show up. so let me get this straight. I'm the first and only guy that finished Among Us. Well, you got this far. You ain't finished yet. Yeah. I'm so, just, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, from this. Mm. Am I or not? Yeah, you're the first person to get this far. I'm the first person who came this far. Yep. Special. He had a lot of people. You know, bro- you don't broke the record now. <laughs> You've come the farthest of anybody. Are you are you serious? Yep. yep. The first time a lot of people. So you th- congrats to you on that. You get achievement for that. <laughs> wow. Um So there are twelve pictures per second. So if you're gonna be getting, doing animation, you gotta realize that. So animation is a whole process and put together it's not just like one little thing so if you notice right here that picture stayed on our screen of just him sitting there see how long that that's just a, that's just a picture it's mm-hmm. just sitting there and then when they're trying to symbolize that the power of the jutsu you see it's just shaking that same picture it's just taking that one picture and just shaking it mm-hmm. so if you had to draw that you would just draw a picture of him just of his face, and then you would just shake it with the computer like this is a part of a computer program to make it shake here and there. And so you'll notice, like even with him standing there, like he was just was, you'll see like right here. That's just a solid one picture here. This is one picture here, and the background, the background there. It's like the way studios work is they say back then it's painted. It is painted, but they have a like a whole file of these backgrounds. Because most of the time now, they don't even draw the backgrounds. They're actually starting to progress into doing it. Remember I told you about the 3D animation? They're doing that. So they're progressing into doing 3D animation for backgrounds, and they're only drawing the character. So they have a bunch of these backgrounds they can just slap in there. It's just a picture they just pull for the computer somewhere. It's like, yeah. all right, we need some trees. Bam, trees. And so this here is just a picture of a firewall, and you see that's the only thing that's moving. He's standing still the whole time. That's just a still image. That picture here is moving, and then the background is like slapped onto the back. Now, if you look at the ground where it's even breaking up, it that's separate picture too. Those even those ground pieces is separate picture from the actual background. Yeah, it's not even the same. Not even the same shading. If you look at it real close, so watch. I'm gonna stop it. Watch. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Right there. Mm-hmm. So that's something they just added in. And so they only had to draw this and that. And now watch here. If you if you don't pay attention to this, just pay attention to him. They drew him and they just slapped him there. And he didn't move. There's just a still image mm-hmm. just there for a long period of time. And so now this is like the most motion we have in a while. What's really interesting about this shot here. When he throws the shuriken, like if you watch the if you watch the whole a whole series of anime of Naruto, right? You see how they have the, the lines. These are called speed lines back here. Mm-hmm. This same animation has been used for so many characters over and over again. They just have it saved on the computer and they just trace it. So you've seen people do that before. Other characters do that same motion, ah ha, and then the shuriken fly out, right? Mm-hmm. And that's all they do. They save it, and then they reuse those same animations. Oh. Uh, a really cool thing about when Obito here, when he to flaps his arms to show motion, you see they add after images here. So to show his hands like flapping. And even at some points, there's four arms instead of just two. And so that makes it look like his arms are going up and down. And that's, that's a more comical way of doing it. And see how long her face sit there for a while. His face sat there for a while. And see, he's just standing there. His face is standing there, but his hair moving. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much how animation is going to work when you start getting into it. This is all just like small things where it's like they're not focus on making everything move. They're only making certain things move at a time. 
See, look, only her mouth is moving. Right. This is one of my favorite shots here, when the fireball is actually coming towards him. I'm going to pause it for you. So he is going to be a still image here. This fireball is actually a fireball that's actually spinning. Like if you watch, it's just a still image and it's spinning and they're gonna make it bigger mm -hmm. as it to symbolize it's getting closer. And they're just coloring the trees orange as it moves forward. Watch this. Yeah, but how do they do that? So you know how you can zoom in like on your image on the computer? That's all that is. It's just that this image is just resizing. You can resize things. Hmm over time. So that's image is resizing and then for every frame, remember it's 12 frames per second. So every frame they just add in a little more orange on the trees to symbol, to make it look like light. And you see this is this still him being a still image for a few frames before he actually starts moving and the whole screen is shaking. Screen shake is actually an effect that you can just click a button and be like add screen shake here and it just does it. Like that? Yep. You don't even have to do nothing fancy or nothing. You just hit add screen shake. <laughs> How long it's supposed to last? It's supposed to last here and here. Boom. And then you can like move a slider to be like make it more screen shake or less screen shake. And it's all computer. It's all done by the computer. Wow. You see how they're just standing still mm -hmm. for that long? It's really interesting when you start watching without sound because they hide a lot of what they do with sound. And so you see, this is a still image here. Just her mouth is moving. And now they just changed frame, now only his mouth is moving. And so this is what I mean by they hide things with sound because now this is just a plain image of him just sitting there. Just smiling. And the sound of him talking makes it symbolize this is in his head. Mm -hmm. But it's just a still image. And then you just move just a few times. You see that? Mm -hmm. So this whole time is just a still image. <laughs> it's just sitting there, but the voice was still going. And you right. don't even notice that it's just a still image just sitting there. And so these are the animations that actually take a lot of work to do. These right here. But you see, now it's just a jitter on a still on a still image. It's just jittering, yes. but the sound is just a, is what hides the fact that nothing's actually happening. <laughs> and by putting these pieces together, you put the images, the effects of like the screen shake and the lighting effects, and then the sound and the music and the sound effects. It all comes together as one conducive story being told. But you don't even notice that a lot of it is just still images just sat there on the screen. And so these are the things that you yeah, take to... a long time. Mm-hmm. Just the mouth moving. Oh yeah, those smoke clouds like that. That's just a file you drag and drop into the. Really? Yep. Like, somebody did it one time, but there's, like, now they can just reuse it over and over again. The same smoke file and stuff like that. And you can actually, like, uh, people sell those, like, smoke effects, fire, and stuff like that. You can buy those offline. And see, the only thing they did here, this is still an image, but the lightning is moving. And this is not even drawn. They got this on from a computer image. To, like, you can literally open up, like, certain files on the computer and be like, add lightning here. Mm -hmm. And then they just did the lighting effects. So, see, even here, only the shadows are what's flickering. See, still image with them in the tree. You see that? That was just a picture that grew. It expanded. <laughs> and they didn't even hide that one. They just slapped that on top of the thing. It was like. And what's really cool is like from far away, they didn't even draw his whole face. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah, I noticed that in most animes. Mm -hmm. It's the same time. 
Cause like these episodes come out every week, so they they gotta they gotta use their time wisely. There's no such thing as being late. This has to come out. <laughs> like if this don't come out on time, then it makes your studio unreliable, and then you lose your contracts, and now uh, you're out of money, and a lot of people lose their job, and a lot of, it's the whole thing. So it ain't just like that. There ain't no such thing as being late. Oh, and these leaves are computer generated. They, nobody drew those. Those are just something you click. On. It's called a. It's called a particle simulation. So you can make particles that look like dust particles or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they're usually just dots that move across the screen. But you can change what the part each particle is. So you can just say that hey, I want this particle to be a leaf, or I want this particle to be this or that. And you just add that in, and you see these are 3D leaves that just put in oh. on the computer through a particle simulation. So there's a lot of tricks they use in order to save time. So like even, like I said, these people actually get sell and give these away. Look at this. So you can actually go to websites and stuff and get like different effects and stuff like that. So all you have to do is draw the character and see there's different fire effects and stuff like that. Because these are called special effect artists. Like there are there are artists that specialize in those special effects and stuff. And so they'll actually do this type of work for you and they'll sell it to you. And it's usually super cheap. Like you can buy like a whole bunch of these special effects like this for like $20. And so then you draw your stuff and then add these things in it with your with your work and then it just adds more style to what you do. Ooh, that's nice. Well yeah, it's that's that easy, man. <laughs> All the things you are learning. But the main thing is you gotta start when you're watching stuff, you gotta break it down into pieces. When you break it down into pieces, you can see how they did it. And then from there, you can do it yourself. Just like I was telling you with the hair, those are just triangles. Draw little triangles there, and then boom, you got it. <laughs> but, and this is what I was talking about, how art is a, in animation is a collaborative skill. It takes more than just one, one person. person. Cause like one person might be just drawing the people talking, this pe person might be drawing the explosions and stuff, and this person might be drawing like fight and stuff so it's very difficult to make an animation it's just one person doing it it's usually a whole team and all these people specialize in these different things but yeah that is it and then once